Hi, everybody. It's May 30, 2018. Holy moly, we are being kept on the edge of our seats, aren't we? This country has gone completely and utterly insane. And if you are not uh, looking at what's happening across the country, in communities, in states, and seeing what's happening, it is incredible. All right. Um, the idea... And I've posted videos on that New World Order insider back in 1969, he giving this lecture. He, Dr. Day, who was a former um, director of Planned Parenthood, he's starting that meeting with, you will not record, you will not take notes, you will have no pens, pencils, paper, you will just simply listen to me. This was back in 1969. Well, one of the things that Dr. Day said was, you will have no more security. No security. Your roots, everything, will be uprooted. Families will be destroyed. The economy will be destroyed. Outsourcing of jobs will happen. We will shuffle you around to the mega regions of Agenda 2030. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're going to have to do some research. But all of it has come true. No security. Everything will fail. Back in 1969, Dr. Day said, planes will crash. Trains will crash. The infrastructure, everything will be collapsing. What are we seeing? Exactly that. And I will link below to that um, transcript of what this insider said back in 1969 for you to read if you have not seen this. So Dabu posts this video. Imminent danger, thousands evacuated after dam begins to fall in North Carolina. North Carolina has had pretty much steady rain for two weeks, but they're claiming that this was brought about due to the heavy rain because of Alberto. Well, guess what? Evacuation lifted. It only took them hours to determine that the dam was safe. So they order a mandatory evacuation of 2,000 people in North Carolina in the mountains because of worries that this dam might break. And then it only took the inspectors to inspect a couple of hours. Up, oh, the dam is safe. You can go home now. I absolutely do believe that all of this is brought about to instill more insecurity and fear in the American people. And I'm not saying that they won't bring about dams breaking, but I am saying that when you see things like this happening over and over, and I want to thank my subscriber for sending or posting this link underneath one of my videos, false alarm, glitch triggers, call to action warning, emergency alerts. Oh, it was a glitch, sorry. Portland, Oregon, their Office of Emergency Management, I believe, they send out this on TVs, on phones, lighting up, emergency alert, civil emergency in this area, prepare for action. And then they come out and say, oops, sorry. And when does it come out? It comes out at 8.36 p.m. on Tuesday. And the Oregon residents in multiple counties, they had that civil emergency alert warning until nearly 11.33 hours. Three hours. No other information was provided. They knew it was a glitch, but they let this go on for three hours. And you don't see something wrong with that? You don't see that this just in itself occurring all over the country now, Hawaii, they getting these alerts. And then you learn 
It was an accident. What does this do to people? It instills fear in people. Dabu also posted this, Soros warrants of major financial crisis. How many, we've been living this for years, not saying that there's not going to be another financial crisis, but if Americans don't know at this point that these financial crises are brought about deliberately, that our economy, Wall Street, our financial system is managed, controlled, manipulated by those in the Federal Reserve and those in, in, the, uh, in Wall Street and the bankers, at this point, they are so ignorant that uh, they're, just, they're just not going to ever be able to make any decisions that will be of benefit to them. They can only make decisions that will be a detriment. When you don't know what's going on and you don't know that everything that is taking place in your country is deliberately engineered, then you cannot, you are not informed, you don't have the information in order to protect yourself from these crises that are brought about deliberately. And you certainly can't take any kind of action to get rid of people like this. So I do believe that having watched these people come out with their warnings and then nothing happens, that this is also just to keep everybody on the edge of their seats. I saw this a month ago. Bill Gates also warned of another financial crisis coming. And I decided not to post on it because we see this happening periodically. These guys like Bill Gates and George Soros, they come out, they make their announcements. Oh, and he says Trump is partly to blame. Okay. Um, the liberals will believe that. Trump in office for a year and a half, he cannot be blamed. And I'm not a Trump supporter. Don't get me wrong. I am not a supporter of government at all. I am out of the matrix because both sides are working it. Both sides are giving you absurd theater. When you see Trump tweeting, he wishes he didn't pick Sessions as Attorney General. And you think that that's a fine tweet coming from the leader of the free world, then you need to really think about your thinking. Trump, he epitomizes the adult child. We have now our leaders who behave in with such immaturity, reprehensible, and these are the people that the children are supposed to be looking up to. It's frightening. But we also know that we are being socially engineered and the moral decline that is taking place in our country is also deliberate to destroy the country. And when you have a moral decline in most of the population, well, you are just going to be on that train with no brakes until you finally crash because people that don't live principles and people that are um, don't have any kind of moral character, don't have a moral core, they're all about themselves and they don't care about anything. Well, it is one of the major reasons why we are living what we are living today. So, oh, uh, I don't know, maybe, I, I'm gonna guess six to eight months ago, Trump was supporting Sessions. Now he wishes he didn't pick Sessions. 
you are seeing a breakdown in all systems, a breakdown in, in just the social contract between one another, a breakdown in all kinds of behaviors, characteristics that we used to regard as admirable, now, hell, it's whatever I think I can tweet. And that also causes an awful lot of craziness, a lot of craziness that is taking place. You have so much going on. Two journalists in the UK illegally detained. You've got Brazil, and I can't put up all of the articles, but Brazil, today on Drudge, headline. Brazil, like rethinking, turning their country back into a dictatorship over a truck strike. Truckers striking leaving Brazil. I think they're on the 10th day of striking in Brazil, which has brought a halt to what is taking place in uh, just ordinary life in Brazil. Brazil, a major e exporter of an awful lot of grains and soy, and that has come to a halt truckers unable to get feed to farmers. And I think they had to prematurely kill millions of chickens because they didn't have any feed, which I have to think, okay, farmers, you don't have a supply of feed for nine days to feed chickens. There's nothing in your towns you, you run out that quickly? That seems a little odd to me. But the truckers are not relenting. And this is over the high cost of diesel. They're bringing about the return of fascism and dictatorships in all countries very, very rapidly. We've got it going here, though Americans are still under a bizarre delusion that they're free. But you want to talk about craziness, Jesus. All right, so uh, U.S. warns of firm response if Syria attacks ISIS. No, really. Okay. The U.S. government has come out and said, that it will take firm and appropriate measures if Syria fights ISIS. If the Syrian mil military, if Assad turns his official legitimate forces against ISIS in Syria, in his own country, the U.S. is going to fight them. Okay. So the United States has told Syria that you better not attack ISIS forces or else. Does that seem a little odd to you? It should. It really should. Um, we have been in Syria not for humanitarian reasons, and yet Americans walk around thinking that they are the golden chosen ones all else are beneath them. Americans, you're just so great. USA, 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 but Americans, <laughs> you are mentally ill for believing that. Oh, and when one thinks that they're great and everybody else is beneath them, narcissism? Narcissism is epidemic in this country. Narcissistic thinking. You don't have to be pathologically narcissist to have narcissistic tendencies. <clears throat> and that's what the, the majority of Americans are revealing. And narcissism, well, that is a disease that instills in the individual to only care about themselves. Aren't we seeing that on an epidemic level? But I, I 
do want to read, speaking of lying, it is un unfortunate that the average attention span of the average Westerner is so short. If it were longer, Americans might remember when the U.S. government told them the U.S. opposes all terrorism and is engaged in a war against terror. The U.S. wants stability in the Middle East. Assad, he's a brutal dictator who kills his own people. Syrians hate Assad. The rebels were all democracy-loving, peaceful protesters. The rebels were violent only in reaction to a horrific crackdown by the Syrian military. The rebels were democracy-loving freedom fighters. There were no terrorist elements. The rebels were overwhelmingly democracy-loving freedom fighters with some jihadist elements who had infiltrated their ranks. The rebels were Syrian. The rebels were mostly jihadist but had moderate elements. The rebels were jihadists, but better than ISIS. The U.S. is not involved in Syria. The U.S. is not supporting rebels. The U.S. is in Syria to defeat ISIS. And I can add to that list. The U.S., no, no troops on the ground in Syria. We're in there for humanitarian reasons. Oh, my God. I said back, in 2011, 2012, this insanity is only going to increase unless we can get Americans to begin to take a look at themselves, clear up their own issues, and start, start acting in their own best interest to, to, to restore some sanity in this country. Well, they didn't do that. So... Insanity just flies. And Americans just love their lies. They love them. Lie to me, lie to me, lie to me, please. Because I just want to go out and play. I'm a child. Yeah, I have an adult body, but I'm really a child. I don't want to take any responsibility for anything that happens. I just want to do whatever the hell I want to do. So just lie to me and tell me how great we are while we demonstrate that we are so unbelievably evil, it is sickening. Now, <laughs> TSA is keeping a secret watch list of Americans who fight back against pointless groping. Soon after 9-11-2001, uh, TSA is established and Americans go to the airport to get sexually assaulted. Even then, I was humiliated for all those who went to airports to get sexually molested by government officials. And I could not believe that all of these Americans were obeying and submitting. Yes, feel me up. Feel my child up. So we still got that going on. Why did they come out with headlines like this? A secret watch list, list of Americans who fight back against the sexual assaults that they themselves are personally experiencing at airports because they don't want you complaining. So Americans know they're not big and tough and brave and courageous. They're wimps. They'll see this, they'll go to the airport, they will not ever complain again. I don't want to be on a watch list. In large quantities, health foods can do more harm than good. Wow. Okay, in large quantities of anything, it can do harm. But what's the reason? Foods high in nutrients can also be high in unwelcome amounts of chemicals. They're telling you that your food is saturated with chemicals. So eat little of it. The healthy foods, the vegetables, the fruits, your eggs, they could be fake. Your chicken coming from China. But your vegetables, your fruits, saturated in pesticides and herbicides, glyphosate, that the EPA has allowed higher levels to be sprayed throughout the years. They're telling you right here, your healthy food is saturated in chemicals. But what did Americans do? They fought long and hard 
just to get their foods labeled, while others in other countries were food, uh, fighting to keep their food supply safe from the GMOs. Well, we lost. We didn't even get the right to have our food labeled. We are utterly insane. Now, how many times have we seen suspicious package? Oh, sus suspicious package found. This Walmart is under a mile. It's about a half a mile from where I live. Six days ago, they shut it down for three hours because a suspicious package was left in the bathroom, in the women's bathroom. It was a wooden box with copper wires and a large battery attached. Oh, my God. Then I was talking to a friend yesterday who heard on local news that that suspicious package, it was a school project, a science project, that some girl apparently decided, I'm going to take my science project into Walmart, leave it in the bathroom. Claim I just forgot. Who takes their science project into Walmart? Three hours, shut down, SWAT teams, bomb teams. This is happening all over the country. You are being socially engineered to be anxious, to be afraid, and to turn over all of your rights to those who will keep you safe. You're socially engineered into a insane police state. It's been going on since 2001 and for Americans to claim that they're free and still living in the country that they used to live in decades ago, they are insane themselves, mentally ill, refusing to face reality. And look, for those of us who are sane, for those of us who can deal with reality, it is getting harder and harder to face. Especially when we know that our country has been taken over. We are at war. Many, many people are being destroyed. This is not a conventional war. No, bombs are not dropping and bullets are not flying past people's faces. It's a war on every system. It's a war on security. It's a war on your rights as a human being and they're coming at you from every which way but it all amounts to the great American experience um, experience experiment killing it off it's dead the people who were given more rights over their government. The only people in the world who had those rights failed to protect them. Failed to protect them because they were too busy and too self-centered to care. Yeah, it's upsetting. It's really upsetting. And Americans, I'm sorry, most are really showing their true colors. Self-centered in the extreme. Don't, it, it just, I, I want the lies. No moral core whatsoever. Living for themselves. Everybody out for themselves. And I don't care if I'm mentally ill. Let me keep my delusions. Bring on the lies. You're keeping me safe. Thank you so much. All links are below.